Crytek GmbH is a German video game and software developer, based in Frankfurt, Germany. Founded by German-Turkish brothers Savat, Avni and Farouk Yerli in Coburg in September 1999 and moved to Frankfurt in 2006, Crytek also operates further studios in Kiev and Istanbul. The company is best known for developing the first installment of the Far Cry series subsequent sequels and spin-offs being developed by Ubisoft Montreal and the Crisis series, the open-world nature of their games which showcase the company's CryEngine, and for pushing the limits on PC specifications to achieve advanced graphics and gameplay. Their most recent major products were the 2013 Rise, Son of Rome, released as a launch title for the Xbox One, and its supporting iteration of their CryEngine. History Far Cry Crytek was founded by the Yearly Brothers in 1999 in Coburg, Germany. One of their first projects was a tech demo of a game called Exile, Dinosaur Island, which showcased their game engine technology that allowed for large viewing distances that other game engines could not do, at that time. They met with NVIDIA during the 1999 Electronic Entertainment Expo where their tech demo caught the attention of NVIDIA and various media groups. Crytek later signed on with Nvidia to distribute Exile as benchmarking software for Nvidia cards. Crytek's first major game was Engelis, a first person shooter with a cyberpunk theme and role playing elements, which was first privately shown at E3 2000. The project first attracted publicity for the company at the 2000 ECTS with their tech demo at the Nvidia booth, but was subsequently cancelled. Crytek was approached by Ubisoft to develop Exile into a full AAA game. This evolved into Far Cry, which was released in 2004. Alongside this, Crytek announced their licensable game engine, CryEngine, that was used for Exile and Far Cry. In February 2004, German police carried out a morning raid on Crytek offices, acting on an ex intern's claim that Crytek was using software illegally. The police investigated for more software copies than licenses purchased, but no charges were pressed. Also in that same month, Crytek and Electronic Arts (EA) announced a strategic partnership to develop a new gaming franchise based on the CryEngine, which would eventually be the Crisis series. Crytek opted in this direction to showcase that the CryEngine was not limited to just what Far Cry had shown. Due to this partnership, Ubisoft acquired the full rights to the Far Cry franchise by 2006 as well as a perpetual license to the first CryEngine, which they have since adapted into their own Dunia engine. In December 2004, Crytek and ATI created a special cinematic machinima to demonstrate the future of PC gaming. Topic: <laughs> Crisis On 23 January 2006 Crytek announced the development of Crisis, promising that it would be an original first-person shooter with a new kind of gameplay challenge requiring adaptive tactics. The game later won several Best PC Game Awards from E3 and Games Convention. In April 2006 Crytek moved to new offices in Frankfurt. The first public demonstration of Crytek's CryEngine 2 was on 23 January 2007, one year after Crisis was announced. It has been licensed by many companies such as Avatar Reality, We Made Entertainment, Entropia Universe, XL Games, Reloaded Studios. On 16 September 2008 an expansion to Crisis entitled Crisis Warhead was released as a PC-exclusive game. In October 2011 Crisis hit consoles, allowing a fresh wave of players to get to grips with the original game via Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network. Topic. Company expansion On the 11th of May 2007 Crytek announced that their satellite studio in Kiev, Ukraine, had been upgraded to a full development studio, giving the company its second development studio. About a week after the upgrade of the Kiev studio, Crytek announced a new studio in Budapest, Hungary. On 14 July 2008 Crytek bought Black Sea Studios and renamed it to Crytek Black Sea. On 17 November 2008 Crytek opened an office in South Korea named Crytek, Ltd. 
On 3 February 2009 Crytek purchased Free Radical Design, a British video game company known for the Timesplitters series, and renamed the company to Crytek UK. On 17 January 2013 Crytek officially opened an office in Istanbul. On 28 January 2013 Crytek opened a new studio in Austin, Texas, Crytek USA, consisting primarily of former Vigil Games employees. CryEngine 3 and Crisis 2 On the 11th of March 2009 Crytek announced on the company's website that it would introduce CryEngine 3 at the 2009 Game Developers Conference, from 25 to 27 March. This new engine was developed for use on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and PCs. On 14 October 2009 CryEngine 3 became available in trade flow for game developers. On 3 March 2010 CryEngine 3 was made compatible with stereoscopic 3D technology. On the 22nd of March 2011, Crytek released Crisis 2, a direct sequel to the original game, in North America. The game was subsequently released in Europe on 24 March and in Australia on 25 March. Topic. Rise, Son of Rome, Homefront, The Revolution and Crisis 3 At E3 2011, Crytek exhibited several new projects, including the action game Rise, Son of Rome. On 20 September 2011, THQ and Crytek announced a partnership to develop Homefront 2. After THQ filed for bankruptcy, Crytek acquired the Homefront franchise from THQ entirely on the 22nd of January 2013. In February 2012, Crytek announced a new cloud-based social gaming network called GeFace. The service is designed to help users meet people and play multiplayer video games with friends. Crytek began researching a cloud gaming system in 2005 for Crisis, but paused development in 2007. On the 13th of April 2012, Crytek released the CryEngine 3.4 SDK, which brought full DirectX 11 support to the CryEngine SDK. Crytek released Crisis 3 in February 2013 and Rise: Son of Rome on the 22nd of November 2013 as an Xbox One launch title. The PC version of Rise, Son of Rome was released in October 2014. Restructuring In June 2014 reports surfaced that Crytek had missed wage payments and withheld bonuses for Crytek UK and Crytek USA employees, and the company responded that it was in a transitional phase as it secured capital for future projects, with a particular emphasis on online gaming. On 30 July 2014 Crytek announced a strategic deal where the rights to Homefront including Homefront, The Revolution and the Crytek UK staff were transferred to Coke Media. The team continued its work on the game as the new Deep Silver Dambuster Studios. Crytek USA was restructured to remain an engine support team while development of Hunt, Horrors of the Gilded Age was transferred to Crytek. The team that originally worked on the game started new ventures. On the 20th of December 2016, Crytek announced that their studios in Hungary, Bulgaria, South Korea, and China would be shut down. On the 7th of March 2017, Crytek sold Crytek Black Sea to Sega and the Creative Assembly. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Latest projects. Crytek is currently working on two projects, Hunt, Showdown which is currently in early access, and is utilizing the fourth generation of the CryEngine, and updates for the previously released free-to-play game Warface. The company has also worked on two virtual reality projects, namely the climb for the Oculus Rift and Robinson, the journey for the PlayStation VR, Oculus Rift and SteamVR. The status of Arena of Fate is unknown after Crytek's restructuring on 20 December 2016, which saw the game's developer Crytek Black Sea get closed down. <laughs> New leadership On 28 February 2018, Crytek announced that Savat Yerli was stepping down as Chief Executive Officer CEO of Crytek, with his brothers, Avni and Farouk Yerli, taking over the company's leadership as joint CEOs. 
Savat continues to support the company as a major shareholder. Topic: Subsidiaries. Topic: Current. Crytek Kiev in Kiev, Ukraine, founded in 2006. Crytek Istanbul in Istanbul, Turkey. Founded in 2012. Former Crytek Black Sea in Sofia, Bulgaria. Founded in 2001 as Black Sea Studios, acquired and renamed in 2008, sold to Sega in 2017. Crytek Budapest in Budapest, Hungary. Founded in 2007, closed in 2016. Crytek Seoul in Seoul, South Korea — founded in 2008, closed in 2016. Crytek Shanghai in Shanghai, China — founded in 2012, closed in 2016. Crytek UK in Nottingham, England — founded in 1999 as Free Radical Design, acquired and renamed in 2009, sold to Deep Silver in 2014. Crytek USA in Austin, Texas, US — Founded in 2013, closed in 2014. Equals equals games developed.